So uh, let's consider a system, right? Uh, and it consists of a machine uh, which never starves. This means that there will be always a job for a machine to work on and in addition it has a warehouse which will store uh, finished products right uh, like we discussed before that the machine is subject to failures and its status is maintained uh, by a random variable vt and when v is zero so this tells that my machine is idle when it is 1 so it's busy and when V of T is equal to 2 then it is down right and as we mentioned before that one job must reside at the machine whenever its status is busy or down right so the state here is a pair of variables V T and K where VT is the status of the machine status so idle busy down and K of T is the finished product level in the warehouse all at time T so let's say if I am saying state of the machine at time T is 2 comma 3 so this indicates that at time t machine is down uh, we can assume that okay we are doing um, maintenance or doing the repair thing and uh, when I'm I said three right so the warehouse has an inventory of three finished product units right okay customers order demand uh, will arrive at the warehouse and fill order fill orders deplete the inventory by the order demand and different customers will have different orders not like the fix fix uh, they won't have uh, similar orders so uh, here we are also stating that the each product here the processing time is 10 minutes so the machine does not operate independently but rather in a controlled manner uh, and it's kind of like linked with the warehouse uh, whenever the inventory level reaches a drop below two units so this is also called a reorder point so whenever your inventory level is below two the machine will start working on again and producing products for you okay the warehouse uh, issues a replenish request to the machine to bring inventory up to the level of capital R which is five units so you can say okay the target value or base stock value is five so what we want we want our inventory level to be in between 2 and 5 if it is dropping then 2 then machine will start working and producing units until we have 5 units so we want to um, we, we need to make sure that our target level or stock base stock level is 5 so in this case the inventory level is set to down cross the recorder point at this point the machine start processing a sequence of jobs until the inventory level reaches the target R at which the machine suspends operation and you know this choosing of capital R which is my reorder point uh, small r my reorder point and capital R target value this is basically in uh, this is discussed with the decision makers and it's kind of studied in inventory control policy also so it's kind of related with decision maker it's very much possible that you have another industry and they want to maybe for them their uh, 
uh, reorder point is 3 or and maybe the target value is 50 so it's just it depends on the need needs of the industry and in uh, discrete event simulation for that particular example we are interested in finding the machine throughput probability of machine status customer service level and average finished inventory so as previously i described the uh, status of machine here and k of t which was level of finished product in the warehouse so suppose um, that events occur in the discrete event simulation model of the workstation which we discussed previously are shown in the figure here and you can say here okay that at time t at zero right the machine is idle because my in I have four finished units so I don't need to produce more units I will start producing more units if the inventory level drops below two right so I don't need to produce any more units um, so here the status of the machine will be V at time 0 will be 0 and K at time 0 will be 4. So at the first customer arrives at the wear time at time T is equal to 35, right? And the demand is 3 units. So since the stock on hand can satisfy this order it is depleted by three units resulting in k of 35 is equal to one at this point now because uh, it crossed down the reorder point right so the machine will start working on producing units um, and the machine status will change from idle to busy so during the next 30 minutes uh, no further demand let's say no further demand arrives and the in inventory level climbs gradually as finished product uh, arrive from the machine until uh, reaching a level of 4 at time 65 right let's say at time 69 we have another customer and places a demand equal or larger than the stock on hand so this will result in the depletion of the entire inventory and this uh, demand will go unsatisfied and unfilled because at that particular time we had let's say four units and maybe that customer was asking uh, maybe six seven or eight so we, we didn't have uh, more than we had four products right so we cannot fulfill that demand anyway let's move forward um, okay if back orders were allowed then we would keep the track of back, back ordering size represented by the magnitude of corresponding negative inventory so let's say this person was asking like eight eight units and we had only four so then we will have a negative inventory of four right uh, at the time t is equal to 75 the unit that started processing at a, at the machine at time t is equal to 65 is finished because it takes 10 minutes to finish a product and then uh, this uh, product proceeds to the warehouse so uh, at time 75 k is equal to 1 means we have one finished unit uh, and at the end 
time t is equal to 85 another unit is finished okay so at time t is equal to 87 the machine fails and